Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to write table valued functions in PostgreSQL. Hope you enjoy this video. Open up your favorite browser and search for PostgreSQL DVD rental. Navigate to this website. Scroll down until you see DVD rental sample database. Next, unzip dvdrental.zip producing dvdrental.tar. Click on the link before loading the sample data into PostgreSQL database server, then follow the steps to restore dvdrental.tar into your PostgreSQL database instance. Guess what? You're almost done. The source code is available on my GitHub account. If you want to download the source code and follow along, that's cool. Or you can just type in the source code from this video. Both ways I have you covered. Now that you have DVD rental database in PostgreSQL, let's start writing a table defined function. Right click on the database DVD rental, see where it says query tools, and that will open you up a new query window. Our goal is to write a table valued function, but before we can do that, we must first do some data discovery. We need to understand our input. As you can see here from the ER diagram, we're gonna be working with the table called actor. Notice it has four fields, an actor ID, a first name, last name, and a last update. Unfortunately, from the ER diagram, I do not know the data types of each of these fields. For us to create a table valued function, we're gonna need to know those. The first thing I will do, part of my data discovery, is go out to information schema.columns and understand what my columns look like. Notice, my actor ID is an integer, first name is a varchar for 45, and last name is a varchar for 45. Well, now I understand the data types for this table. Now, select star from actor, and we can now go get some data and see the contents, doing what I like to call data discovery. I understand that this is a varchar 45, a varchar 45, and an integer. Now, my goal for this function is, I would like to do searching on the first name, I like like to search from the front, from the back, and something in between. So can you imagine I did a query where I said, show me everybody's first name that started with PE, and it returned me a list, or everybody first name that ended with E, I'd like to find that. Or how about everybody that has NE in their name somewhere? So that's the user defined data type function we're going to write. Before we create the function to search the actor table, let's think about how we can limit the search types to just three different patterns. Starts with, end widths, and contains. Well, right away, we want to limit the search type to do three. So the only data type that solves this type of problem is using an enum. Let's create an enum to help solve this problem. Notice we're creating an enum called search type and it is of type enum, it's a data type, and it will limit our input types to be of starts with, ends with, and contains. Now that we have defined our enum search type, we can then use that in our function. During our data discovery, we learn that first name is a varchar 45. That tells us what our two input arguments will be. Now we're gonna be returning a table, so we say returns, make sure you put that S there, and it's gonna be of type table. Then we're gonna give our return type data. So we're gonna be returning the actor ID. We learned that that was an integer. And then first name was varchar45. And we're not making these up. We did data discovery and we learned this. And then last name is also a varchar45. And that is our table that we're gonna return from calling this function. Now, once we get our table defined, we say as, and then two dollar signs, and then the word begin. And for every begin, we say end, and then we end our two dollar signs, and then we say language, and our language will be PLPG SQL. And this is the boilerplate for our function called FN get actors v1. So we got the enum, and then we have our first name as arguments. Define how we're going to be using this search by. Well, it just begins with something very simple, and we say if search by, search by is the name of 
search type. Search type is an enum, starts with, ends with, and contains. These are the only three values that we can use in this method. Had I used a varchar here, I'd have to add an else just to say it would not be supported. Using an enum, the actual calling method would fail, so I don't need to do a bunch of extra programming. Enum is the perfect data type for this type problem. Now to return a table, we need to say return query. And then what are we gonna return? Well, let's say select star and then from actor, and we're gonna give that an alias called ACT. Now I really don't want star, so what I can do is using that alias act, I can say act dot actor ID, and then act dot first name, and then act dot last name. And how will we build our where clause? Well, we'll say where the act dot first name like the parameter first name, and I don't care what it ends with. Now, hopefully that makes sense to you because this is just a basic select statement. But now it is possible that the user sends in uppercase, lowercase, and maybe you know some tricky input. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert the input and the search parameters all to the uppercase. So we say upper, and then I'm gonna use the like command for that parameter to also be upper. And we're gonna finish that off. And then it's still any letter and it has to be the first letter it will be part of the results. Now what we can do is we can come add an example on how to call that. So we're going to say uh, select star from the name of this function and then we say now what is our first argument? Well I can only use one of three and since I've only programmed up start with I'm going to make that my first one and then I want it to start with the letter P. Notice here I'm using lowercase here you can see that I will be uh, converting it to uppercase. So then I'm gonna take this and we're gonna run that through. So now it's blue star, everything worked correctly. Then I'm gonna come down here and execute this function we just wrote, this call. And notice for the first name, everything begins with uppercase P, even though I gave it uppercase P. How about are any names beginning with B? And notice we have quite a few there as well. So you can see that using this enum, I've limited it to just three elements and start with is all done. Now let's knock out ends with. Well, I don't need to retype all this, so I'm just gonna harvest that source code, paste it in here. Let us now write ends with. Notice that we come over and we just copied the one from the top, the starts with, and now I say the upper of first name and then like, and it doesn't matter what it starts with, but it must end with some kind of value. So notice it's just the opposite of begins with. So what we'll do is we'll then retry to build this, and that was good, and then we can come down here and say ends with and it ends with an E. So the first name must end with E. And notice all of these names end with an E. Like if I just want to name it with N and an E, I could come and put an N in front of that. And that means every name must end with N E. And notice these names solve that problem. Our last method contains, well, that is just a combination of first and last. So I'm going to block copy that. I'm going to paste it in here. And I don't care what it starts with, find it in there. And then we've got to add one more clause and say, guess what? I don't care what it ends with. So that right there is our contains. And that's how that is. Now to do our final test, let's go ahead and rebuild this. And then what we'll do is we'll say, uh, contains. So we'll come down and say contains. And then we're going to say contains IC. And you can see we have Nick, Michelle, Richard. Pretty cool, yeah? So we have taken input. We figured out the correct data type that we should be using, our enum. We were then able to create a return table. We did data discovery to figure out the data types. We then programmed up the three supporting methods that we'll use, start with, ends with, and contains. And our function is all done. And there you have it team, how to return a table object from a function in PostgreSQL. We used an enum as our first argument and you saw how the elements of that enum are restricted elements that we needed to support. You also saw how we used information schema.columns to figure out the columns we wanted to return. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them below. And that's all I have team. 
I hope to see you back in my next video. Take care.